Have you been in a situation when the delivery service was not able to process your order because it was overwhelmed by other orders? Well, it could be solved with the planning. And uh, the Opto Planner is a really great tool for uh, scheduling and planning uh, with constraints. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, use uh, Opto Planner order picking quick starts uh, to get uh, perfect resource planning uh, for multiple orders, uh, for picking up multiple orders items in the warehouse. So let's begin with the problem formulation. So here we have the warehouse, the trolley, and the depot station. And um, so what we need is uh, to pass to the Opto Planner the configuration of the warehouse, the orders we have, and the uh, trolleys uh, we have as well, and their capacity and the amount of boxes. And then uh, Opto Planner will uh, assign products to trolleys and will create the step by step plan uh, to fulfill the orders. Like this. And let's consider the, well, the example uh, of it. Uh, so, for example, the first idea that comes to mind is just to pick up, or take the uh, two orders and merge it and just to pick up uh, till you can. Right? And here you could see that uh, we pick up banana and apple, combine it to box one number one, then we pick up snack, then pick up orange part here. The first constraint will appear because uh, we cannot mm, store uh, products from different orders in one box, right? So this needs to be avoided. The next problem is that um, if we will uh, even pick up it right like uh, banana apple again snack here orange uh, from the other order here and the uh, grill here next problem that we have is that we didn't consider that we need two trolleys already um, so we need to plan uh, plan ahead the amount of trolleys and the uh, list of products are, or step-by-step -step plan for products uh, ahead. So consider we have two trolleys. All right, okay, we will create the plan like this. So the trolley number one will pick up banana and apple. Then uh, we'll go for the snacks, one, two, three steps. Then uh, we'll go for the orange as uh, another uh, four, five, six steps, and for the grill, uh, which is in-house. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it's fourteen steps. It's quite an, a lot. You could see it's a mess. And well, we need to avoid it as well. Let's uh, create the, well, uh, another constraint would be that uh, each time we uh, create the next step, uh, we need to consider that uh, the distance between the uh, current step, current plan step and the uh, previous step should be minimized. Also, uh, you can see here uh, this solution. For example, here we can see that uh, for the trolley number one, uh, we did two steps actually, uh, combining the orders uh, from fruit shelf uh, uh, and go only for the uh, nearest one, for the meat one, right? It's only two steps. And after that, we uh, assign for the trolley number two uh, to go for the drinks, uh, one, two steps, and then go for the snacks, three steps, and go for the grill. Uh, four step and four step back. That creates uh, uh, that gives us only eight steps. So uh, it's much more better than before. Next problem that we have is that you can see here that it's not quite uh, it's not uh, planned for uh, going back. So we don't return to the depot station. Well, 
in case we need to return it anyway, we can consider the uh, and replan it a bit uh, to decrease the amount of trolleys or uh, amount of steps. So now let's consider that uh, we need to not only minimize the uh, the last step, but minimize the distance to the origin. What does it mean? It means that uh, if we go, for example, uh, we create a plan uh, like this. Uh, so uh, we can go for banana, for salmon, Pepsi, snack, grill, and vegetables. After that, return back, right? And go for the meat. Um, this is acceptable but for the first relay, but the problem is that actually uh, we could do better. Uh, in case if we go for fruits, fish, drinks, snacks, house, vegetables and meat again, we will decrease the number of steps. Uh, so here uh, instead of 10 steps we will have only 8 of it. So we will pick up like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 steps with entering of the depot station because the depot is here and uh, the uh, ultralis uh, will be created from this place and will be uh, returned back to this place. So, and uh, also Let's consider, um, in the previous example, we, had, we could see that, uh, unfortunately, the different trolleys uh, were, uh, con different trolleys were uh, containing the same order, but uh, it would be much better if we have the whole trolley that is uh, assigned only for one order. So let's, let's try it and see how the planner is going to solve order picking problem. Initially, we have release and three orders and pre-configured warehouse so start it uh, and uh, soon we will see all the planner solves our problem and first of all you can see that uh, there was no any uh, hard constraints broken and it means that the planner creates only solutions where the general products capacity uh, is less than trolley's capacity, right? And um, it does not account in solution where the products of different orders go to the same box. As here, so you could s sum the uh, volume and check by yourself that uh, it does not exaggerate the bucket capacity, well, trolley's capacity with four buckets. And also you could see that there is no uh, different colors in one boxes because Optoplanner will not mix different items uh, for um, different orders in one box. Now also take a look for the distance. Uh, so here you could see that for the trolley number one, uh, each step uh, Optoplanner will minimize the distance between current location and location of the previous step. So you could see it here. And also you could see it is looped. Um, it plans to pick up products not only by way two, but on the way back. That's the best solution Optoplanner can create. But you could tweak it by yourself. Just Mm, you could go for the octoplanner.org and download uh, Octoplanner Quick Stars and try it by yourself. Thanks for watching!